This is a video about replanting the grass in our local Little League baseball field. Hope you enjoy the video. First thing I'm doing is I'm starting out with a three bottom moldboard plow. I'm pulling the plow with a uh, 98 horsepower tractor that weighs about 10,000 pounds and three bottoms is about as much as this tractor can handle. This dark clay soil is tough on a moldboard plow. I'm using it to try to get the vegetation buried and to make it easier hopefully for the later steps. To turn the plow around you raise it up, hit one side of the brakes and flip the tractor over and then lower it back down and start over again. The plow pushes all the dirt towards the center a little bit, so you kind of keep going in a circle. At this point, the field was completely torn up. You can see it's pretty much unplayable. And I had to just hope for some rain so I could continue with the next steps. Luckily, we got a four inch rain. So as soon as things are dry enough, I start using this disc on the field. This is a 16 foot disc. So, and again, it's pretty much maxing this tractor out on what it can pull. The disc is turning the big giant clumps from the moldboard plow into smaller clumps. And with a little more rain, hopefully we can finish leveling this thing out. We had a pretty dry winter, so I had to wait a while, but we thought I got some rain. Now I can use this road boss land leveler on the field. The land leveler usually has two blades, but because there's so much dead vegetation, I took the rear blade off so it didn't clog up. So now after having to wait for several more weeks for rain, I'm now running a culti packer over the field. This is a pretty heavy implement. Uh, puts a lot of ground pressure with, with these steel wheels, which causes uh, dirt clogs to break apart. Next step is I'm dragging a pretty heavy I-beam. It's about 16 foot wide over the field to try to level, up, level it out even further. Because we had such a dry winter, I kept having problems with this vegetation you see clumping up. It was kind of a problem the whole time. I just drug the field multiple times and hoped for the best. Now I'm getting ready to plant. This is winter ryegrass, which is an annual here in Texas. The grass will die out about mid-May. So at some point we'll have to plant some kind of perennial grass. It's pretty common around here for ranchers to plant this stuff as a late winter feed for the cattle. I ended up putting about 80 pounds of seed on the field. Pretty heavy, uh, but I wanted to make sure a good crop came up. So the field's all planted, and I just gotta hope Mother Nature cooperates with baseball season. This is about a month after I planted. The grass is finally starting to pop up. I was really getting nervous because this grass should have germinated in about a week, but it took about three. Here we go, two months after I planted, and the field looks pretty good. Um, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for some t-ball. Thanks. Take care. God bless. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.